Hello, welcome back to my channel. I make videos on travel, beauty, fashion and luxury and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. So today's video is about what's new in November. It has started getting chillier in San Jose so I did a bit of a fall winter fashion haul. So I purchased um, some clothing uh, from Macy's. So one of the tops or the sweaters that I purchased is this one, the one that I'm wearing. Um, it is from uh, Ralph Lauren and uh, it's a beautiful color of berry. Uh, it matches with the nail polish that I have on, which is from Essie. Uh, it's called Berry Naughty. Uh, it has this beautiful uh, gold button details on uh, top of either sides of the shoulder with the Ralph Lauren uh, logo or emblem. And um, yeah, I like this uh, sweater. It's nice and oversized and it has nice puffy sleeves. So next up is again another sweater. So I got this one from Ralph Lauren and uh, this is again uh, the sweater with the details on top. This has nice uh, brass or gold uh, button details on top of the shoulder with the uh, Ralph Lauren logo. Uh, it is a short sleeved uh, sweater so it's very nice uh, when you want to layer it with the uh, blazers or under the coats and things like that so it kind of does not bunch under your um, blazer or coat and doesn't make your arms look big so it's in a beautiful color navy and I like this sweater and I think it pairs very well with um, my pants these pants I got from Ralph Lauren again and these are the polyester uh, type of uh, wide legged uh, pants and they're also in a color uh, navy and they have this beautiful uh, button detail at the side on both the sides there are again the brass uh, buttons with the Ralph Lauren logo and they go very well with that sweater and uh, it gives a nice uh, monochromatic uh, nautical look. So uh, as you can tell, I am uh, in the whole uh, military nautical inspired uh, look for the fall winter. Uh, next up, I got similar sweater again from uh, Ralph Lauren uh, it is similar to the one that I'm wearing uh, only thing is the color is different this is in the color ivory uh, so it is white but uh, not very white it's kind of paler white and it has again this uh, button details which you can see from closer these are beautiful brass or gold button uh, with the Ralph Lauren emblem on top so it's on both the sides and it's a long sleeve sweater so uh, it has a cuff over here and um, the sleeve nicely bunches over the cuff and gives uh, interesting detail and um, similar to the sweater that i'm wearing it has this band uh, which extends and uh, if you're wearing leggings or any tight fitting trousers these are good because they cover your bottom from behind and uh, they are the same from the front as well i mean the same length The other sweater that I'm very excited about is this uh, Ralph Lauren uh, sweater. This is again a v-neck sweater and uh, it has this uh, beautiful uh, stripe details. So this is called as the cricketer sweater. 
so you can see it is a cable knit sweater the knit is called cable knit and uh, it is called a cricketer sweater because uh, it is uh, worn by the cricket players in the countries uh, where they play cricket especially during the uh, colder uh, months so i'm from a country which is into cricket so i always like this cricketer uh, sweaters but uh, i never found one for uh, women so once i saw this on macy's website i grabbed this so they had this uh, beautiful uh, striped details of red and navy and it is also for uh, both sides at the bottom of the sleeves again the stripes of uh, red and navy as well as uh, at the bottom of the sweater so it looks quite pretty Next up, what I got is another type of a sweater. I like having a collection and a variety of sweaters to choose from. So this one is the Argyle pattern uh, sweater. So it is a beautiful color. Uh, it is uh, the color of eggplant or aubergine. Uh, you can also call it as violet. It is not exactly the berry color. This You can compare it with the berry colored sweater that I'm wearing. So this sweater is from Tommy Hilfiger and this is the Argyle pattern. It is again a v-neck sweater and it is a light knit. So you can layer uh, your shirts or your tops underneath. I plan on wearing this uh, layering on my uh, button down shirts. So they look very good with this uh, v-neck. So uh, these are sweaters, the one in the ivory and this one in berry, they are the round neck and my other sweaters are in the v-neck. And I think again the navy one was in a round neck. Uh, next up what I have is this jeans. I got this uh, pink colored jeans or a light wash jeans from uh, Ralph Lauren. Um, it is uh, a straight jean, I mean a straight leg jean, and it has this beautiful washed out pink color. And I thought that uh, mostly when I'll be wearing darker colored sweaters like uh, berry colored sweaters or the aubergine colored sweaters, something like this would look good, a lighter pairing of uh, pink sweater or pink uh, jeans, sorry. Next up, what I have is a dress. This is a sweater dress. And this I found on uh, the Macy's site. Uh, and this is from the brand Tommy Hilfiger. What I like about this uh, sweater dress is that uh, it is half sleeved, so uh, you can uh, pair it nicely with a cardigan uh, or a coat, blazer, jacket, anything. And it has this uh, varsity stripes. So it has the stripes of navy, red, and uh, white. So it gives a very nice nautical pattern. And I'm all for the nautical pattern during... Uh, the months of uh, fall winter and uh, it has that detail on both ends of the sleeve as well as the detail uh, runs on the side of the dress on both the sides there you go as well as it ends at the end of the dress so you can see this beautiful bands of navy white and crimson red and it has uh, four pockets so these are the false pockets. Uh, they just have uh, the kind of opening, the stripes at uh, three-fourth of the length of the dress. And I think this dress looks very chic. It has a zipper at uh, about a quarter of the dress. 
It's a gold uh, zipper and um, the zipper pull is the Tommy Hilfiger gold um, emblem. So that's the sweater dress. I also got some uh, loungewear uh, to wear around the house, garden or when I go for walks um, in my neighborhood. So what I got is uh, something from Adidas. Um, so I got a couple of uh, t-shirts with the Adidas logo on top. So logos uh, are a big trend uh, this uh, fall season. Uh, so you might have seen all sorts of logo bags. So you might have also seen uh, uh, ready to wear uh, clothing from the brands with logo uh, logos. Like I know that Fendi does a very nice uh, logos uh, brand uh, of its uh, logos, uh, a t-shirt or a swimsuit. Then I have also seen some nice uh, t-shirts from Balmain, uh, Balmain. Uh, then I think almost all brand they do logos. And I thought I would also jump on the logo uh, bandwagon by <laughs> uh, getting some things from Adidas. So this is the dry uh, flower uh, design of Adidas and it has Adidas written in the board. So that's the white t-shirt with round neck and the other one I got similar but in the black again with the round and a round neck and a logo. The other thing that I got are these uh, Adidas pants. So these are the original joggers um and they have the signature um stripes uh white stripes running on the sides of the pants from top to bottom on both the sides so this is the adidas uh, pants and it has this uh, trifoliar uh, design with adidas written at the sides and the nice thing about this is that it has this zippers on both the sides, zipper pockets. So these are workable pockets, which I like. And you can also close the zippers. So this is very good for people who go out for um, their daily exercise, running, walking. They can put their cell phone or some card holder, some cash inside these pockets and go about their business. And also they have the zippered uh, leg opening. I'm not exactly sure like uh, what is the purpose of the zipper leg opening. For me it is nicer to put my shoes on and off without uh, removing the whole pants at times. So especially wearing the ankle boots and things like that for me uh, it's uh, kind of convenient. So it has this uh, zippered uh, trouser bottom on both its legs so that's Adidas so that was my uh, fashion haul and next up I got some uh, beauty haul I ordered something from Lancome I've been using Lancome co cosmetics for a long time and one of my favorites is their mascara and the eyeliner so I have their black and brown eyeliner and mascara so what I got from Lancome is basically a kind of a repeat or refill for what I already use this is the Lancome art liner uh, mascara in the color chocolate number 22 so Lancome art liner is one of the best mascaras uh, that uh, are there in the market so I have been using uh, just this mascara for a very long time. This is my favorite mascara, uh, sorry, favorite eyeliner and mascara as well. <laughs> so this is the Lancome Art Liner and it comes like this. So this is the place where there is the eyeliner and you have a nice um, 
thing to hold on so it gives a good grip and you can see the color of the mascara there it's a chocolate uh, brown in color so I have been like wearing a black mascara and black eyeliner the whole time and uh, because I had run out of this one the brown one so I find it really nice to switch it up for now I'm not uh, wearing any eye makeup So next up what I got is this uh, Lancome Mascara which is called Defensils uh, Mascara and uh, this is a nice mascara. This is also something which I exclusively use and uh, the color is uh, deep brown and the number is uh, zero, uh, zero 04. So this is the mascara. I like the packaging it's a black and simple so that's the mascara wand and it does not like kind of give you like the dramatic uh, kind of um, eyelashes if you're looking for them but for me for daily use in professional setting I think this is one of the best mascaras uh, they have around they will, it does give you proper length, proper definition to your uh, eyelashes, but uh, nothing over the top like false eyelashes or something. And next up, what I got from uh, Lancome for the first time is this brow styler. So this is called Sorcel Styler. So if you've noticed, I have uh, very bushy eyebrows. Um, I don't use any color for my eyebrows or any fillers in the eyebrow. I usually just brush them. But because they are in such volume and such length, they uh, kind of easily get misplaced if I even touch my hand, uh, touch my face, you know, throughout the day. And they look very unruly. And uh, especially after wearing sunglasses or eyeglasses, they obviously touch your eyebrows and um, uh, they lose kind of their shape and they become unruly so i thought i will try something uh, to hold the mascara i mean to hold the <laughs> eyebrows so this is uh, the mascara sources or the brow styler mascara sources is um, something in french for a brow styler and it says it um, remains for up to 14 hours of wear so i would be glad even if it uh, remains for seven to eight hours it can hold my eyebrows in place throughout the day so this is how it looks and since i have not used it yet I won't be able to tell you about how is the product and how is the review and things like that maybe I will use this couple of times and uh, tell you how I like the uh, brow holder or brow styler uh, at the end of the month when I do my November favorites so this is how the wand looks so that's a product and then you kind of brush your eyebrows uh, with the wand so I ordered this stuff from the Lancome uh, website and when you order something from the website they give you a couple of items complimentary so I got two of them so this is something new to me this is their uh, toner this is their honey acacia honey toner a hydrating comforting toner with acacia honey for dry skin so this is nice I might get some use out of it during uh, the winter months when my skin becomes uh, drier and the next uh, uh, sample that they gave me is this uh, Lancome um, Youth Activating Concentrate so Advanced Gentrific Youth Activating Concentrate I already use this uh, product um, in my uh, skincare routine and uh, I really like this product I don't know whether it activates youth or something but uh, 
it is very nice uh, when it is uh, layered under your um, um, makeup or under your foundation so that you don't have to uh, kind of use a primer or something it's a very nice uh, sort of a primer it doesn't kind of uh, scale out when you use this in the morning under your makeup so that's that and the other thing that I got which I have on my lips uh, right now is uh, this uh, lipstick so I got this lipstick from Target so it is from the brand NYX and it is called Slip Days and this is the first time I'm using the NYX brand and so it's obviously not only new in November but new ever to me and it's a lip lacquer and it's in color a uh, spiced spell and number STLL 17 so uh, I was looking for something for um, uh, fall winter season something to you know change up the lip color so this is not exactly a berry color uh, it is more like a rust color for example this is the Essie berry naughty so this is the berry colored uh, nail polish and the lipstick next to it is you can see it's a brownish rusty color so i was looking for a rust colored or a pumpkin spice colored uh, lip color or lipstick for uh, wearing for fall winter and i think uh, this works i might also try um, something from bite beauty they have uh, something called as pumpkin or one of their uh, shades in Amuse Boucher uh, line of lipsticks. So I might also try that. So that is what's new in November. And another thing what was new for me in November is this mask. So this is the N95 mask that uh, I got from Home Depot. And uh, there have been like uh, fires in uh, California. So there were fires in Southern California, but the smoke kind of settled in uh, Bay Area and San Jose. So we could not venture out without this mask. So this mask have been like very useful and helpful. And this is one of the things that was new to me in November. So I've used it over a week and uh, I think they are pretty good so uh, that's it guys that's it uh, for new in November I hope you found this video entertaining I hope you found this video informative in case you're planning for your own uh, fall haul uh, if you haven't uh, done so already uh, I think from tomorrow that is Thursday till Monday is going to be the uh, Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday uh, shopping week. Hope you get some inspiration in case you are planning on buying any clothing for you. Uh, there are going to be uh, nice discounts. So thank you for watching and see you guys later. Bye.